Um, this is my last guitar I have just finished, uh, 2022. It is a uh, cedar top classical guitar, 650 millimeters standard scale length, with a um, uh, cedar top, as I said, a uh, Brazilian rosewood with a bit of sapwood right in the, uh, right in the middle, and a uh, cedar neck. Also, a uh, rosewood uh, head plate, book matched to match the rest of the body and the uh, rosewood uh, bridge as well. Ebony fingerboard, high uh, uh, frets as I usually do, and uh, 52 millimeter um, width for the neck. That's the standard is. So the rosette in this particular guitar is the one I actually I use for all of mine, and I have been using it for four years now. It has my mosaic as a central motif and two more mosaics on each side uh, all of it is 0 0.4 0 0.3 millimeters uh, um, thickness for every veneer on it also the same motif is repeated in the tie block for the bridge so the way I approach guitar making is um, through the years I've tried I thought quite a lot about it. So I, I came to a conclusion is that you can either try to work on your bracing or on the wood that you use to achieve the sound that you want. That is because um, the most important part of, part of the guitar is the top. And the top is made of uh, organic material, either cedar or spruce. And it, being organic, it is impossible to find two exactly similar pieces of wood. So you have to live with that. And uh, the way you can, I think you can work with it is uh, for two different pieces of wood, you can change the bracing to try to make them work similarly. What I did is I always keep the same bracing and I try to work a lot and buy a lot of wood to try to find similar pieces of wood that work as much as possible the same way. And so I measure uh, all the variables that I can to make sure that they work similarly.